So one of the things that I've determined personally is that I'll never do anything for my parents. Now I want you to understand what I'm saying when I say this. So I'm going to tell you a little story. A couple of years ago, there's a girl I used to date and this girl had a very interesting story which I find to be very inspiring because it inspired me as well. So this girl, she went to university, she studied something in finance, came back, went into the industry, worked for about a year or two and then after that, she said to me that she was going to hand the degree over to her parents and then go do what she is passionate about, which is the arts. Wanted to go into the entertainment industry. So what she did, literally, she said, I'm handing the degree over to my parents and then I'm leaving. I'm going to pursue my dream because the degree was for them. But what I'm going to do now is for me. The acting, the entertainment, production, that's for me finance that was for them and i find it interesting that this is a lot of people's stories right a lot of people do this where they do things for their parents do things for whoever for somebody and when you do something for someone what it does is that it creates an opportunity for you to resent them for you to hate them sometime in the future because you know her story turned out well she went on to do what she was passionate about and she's thriving at it however this is not everybody's story most people end up stuck with a degree that they studied for the sake of their parents, for the sake of mom or dad. And in their old age, when mom is dead and dad is no longer here, you are mad at them. You resent them. Why? Because you are not doing what you are passionate about. You are not doing the thing that you wanted to do. You're doing what they wanted you to do, right? Even while they're still alive, it creates an opportunity for you to resent them, for you to hate them. And so, let me just ask you a question why would you not want to do what is for you so when i say i wouldn't do anything for my parents i want you to understand the context here because one of the goals that i have in life is to buy a house for my parents or even build them a house a, a dream home but i want you to understand that i'm doing this for me <laughs> i'm doing this for me i want to do it it'll bring me a sense of fulfillment it'll give me peace so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to wreck my life, disturb my life just to do something for them that I know is solely just for them. Just because I feel like I owe them or something. I don't feel like I owe them. I don't feel like I should do it just for them. However, I do want to do it for me. Now, is that selfish? Perhaps. <laughs> I think it is selfish, right? And I think all of us, to some extent, at some level, we're all selfish. But the point that I'm making to us right now, the point I'm making to you, is that whatever it is that you are doing, even if you do it for the next person, even if it benefits the next person, make sure that you are doing it for you as well. Because the last thing you want to do is you, want, you, you don't want to end up resenting the people that you care about, the people that you love. The people who care for you, the people who love you. Now you resent them, why? Simply because you were doing it for them and you never wanted this in the first place.